Don't go too fast with the drill bit or the screwdriver. It's really easy to make a, an arrow if you're rushing, so just take it easy. Normally we would split the whole engine and take the crankshaft out and repair that at the same time as doing the bearings and the seals. But in this instance, it's just a quick stop how to remove your crank seals without pulling your engine apart. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple of shortcuts on how to change crank shaft seals on a two-stroke racing engine. Today's video, we're doing it on an X30, but it would be very similar to a K100 Vortex Mini Rock or any other two-stroke racing engine. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is remove some of the auxiliary components like the clutch cover, clutch and ring gear, and the ignition, rotor, and stator. Now this engine already has that removed on one side, but we're gonna remove the others on the other side so we can get access to the crank seals. So now that we've got the auxiliary components removed from the engine, we've got access to the crankshaft seals, as you can see, and we can remove those seals now using a drill and a self-tapping screw. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Normally we would split the whole engine and take the crankshaft out and repair that at the same time as doing the bearings and the seals. But in this instance, it's just a quick stop how to remove your crank seals without pulling your engine apart. So let's get into that. So using a very small drill bit, in this case, we're using a 2.5 millimeter drill. We're gonna carefully screw, we're gonna carefully pre-drill a hole through the seal, and then using a very short self-tapping screw, we can screw this into the hole that we drill, and then lever the crank seal out of the crankcase. Now that the screw's in place, you can grab yourself a pair of side cutters or pliers. I'm just gonna use the leverage to pull that seal off the crankshaft. So now that you've got the seal removed, it's time to clean up any of the swarf using some degrees and a rag, and then we're ready to reinstall the new crank seal. And it's the same for the other side. Make sure while you're working, you take it easy. Don't go too fast with the drill bit or the screwdriver. It's really easy to make a an arrow if you're rushing, so just take it easy. Now we're ready to reinstall the new crank seals. So what I like to do is use a bit of instant gasket sealer on the outside so they don't leak or come loose during operation. And you can just put a little bit on and then just smear that around the outside of the seal very carefully. Okay, we don't wanna fill the engine up with sealant. Just wanna stop our seals from coming loose. So just a tiny fraction of that around the outside of the seal. And then what you can do is get an oil can and you can put some two stroke engine oil down inside the seal. Just rotate that around, just like so. And that seal is all nice and lubed up. You can use a lithium base grease as well. I oh, like two stroke oil. To help with the seal going on over the crankshaft, you can put a little bit of two stroke oil there on the crankshaft, that's all that lubes the seals when they're running anyway. And then we just slide the seal down and onto the crankshaft, push one end on, and then what we're gonna do is just rotate the engine over so I can see what I'm doing, and then just lightly press that seal roughly into position we're using the thumbs. Now this seal on this engine is not so tight, so you can just press it by hand. 
Otherwise, if you've got yourself a socket that will fit over your crankshaft, you can use that as well. You can see this one's a little bit too short, but if you get yourself a hammer, you can tap the seal down. Now the seal is a little bit bouncy, so to circumvent that, we could probably get something that's gonna fit over the end of the crankshaft, and we can actually put more pressure down onto the seal and push it down into the engine. Like this little piece of go-kart axle. Fits over the end of the crankshaft and we'll push our socket down onto the seal just nicely. Otherwise, if you've got access to a lathe or you know someone that does, you can turn yourself up a little pusher like this. Fits over the end of the crankshaft. Same thing again. You can just push the seal in to the engine and wipe up any residual goo. And now it's the same for the other side. When you're tapping in the seal, just make sure you don't push it all the way down hard on one side. So I just put the, whether I'm using a, a little, whether I'm using a specialized tool like this or a deep socket, which would be better, even this 30 millimeter socket, just anything that's roughly the diameter of your seal, you just slowly tap it down. So you make sure that the seal goes in as square as possible. So that's an easy way to get your crankshaft seals out of your two-stroke engine without having to split the crankcase. Now this is especially important for the motorbike racers out there that have got a gearbox to contend with as well. So if you want to get your crankshaft seals out and keeping the gearbox all together, that's an easy way to do it. So if you've made it this far, thanks so much for tuning in. We really hope you found the video helpful. If you did, make sure you smash the damn like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.